Ah, hello, I'm back, back in this gym again. I don't know why, but every time when I'm working out, I always think about recording videos. So maybe that's why I'm recording this video again in this area. Do you wanna dance? Yeah! Today, the day that I'm recording this video, marks my uh, six month uh, anniversary as a vegan. Anyway, so this one is just gonna be like a quick prompt video kind of uh, improvising, I guess. Don't really know what to say. Maybe a bit uh, recap of uh, what I said on the one month uh, video. Well, pre pretty much everything still, still is the same. My uh, bowel movements are still going strong. My weight has uh, stabilized. I even gained some weight, uh, but now I'm trying to lose it again. Now that I know how to gain weight on a vegan diet. Going out to restaurant still sucks. Even though more and more opportunities are coming up. Uh, I went to uh, the first ever vegan festival right here in Amsterdam. It was nice, finally having like a full vegan place and tasting all these yummy yummy vegan meals and treats. I had a, uh, my first barbecue as a vegan. We, uh, I was one of the main organizers. Yep. Basically, as you can see here, one half of the grill is vegan and the other half of the grill is not vegan. But all the other stuff, uh, the salad and the mayonnaise and the sauces, all of those other things were all vegan. Big shout out to my co-organizers who really, really helped out with the barbecue as well. Some new things that I've learned in the last six months that I did not know before. Apparently, when you're like eating vegan, your farts also don't stink that much. <laughs> Maybe one in four farts stink, the others are hmm, unnoticeable. At least that's what I think. I might be biased. My uh, pots and pans are much, much easier to clean. Yeah, so because when you're not cooking meat, your pots and pans really, they will go much, much longer. Also on the barbecue grill, the grill on, on the vegan side was much easier to clean. So great stuff. What else? Oh yeah, by the way, the working out is going very nice. In the last video, I did say that I was experimenting with uh, working out uh, about six workouts a week, uh, eight I believe. Um, yeah, it's doable, it's really doable. I just realized that it's not always fun to wake up with muscle ache and everything. And it's not sustainable for a very, a very long period of time because I'm not a, like a full-time athlete, so I have to work and what's on that. So, so some days I will just be tired from work. And then if you do two workouts on the same day, that's just, that's not good for your body because you have not really rested well enough. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Just one last thing that I would like to say that I, I, would, I would like to have like some kind of like discussion with you guys. First of all, maybe uh, why did I become vegan? Why does anyone want to become vegan? To begin with the latter, um, most people, I think about 99% of the people, become vegan because of these three reasons. Either for animal rights or for, you know, ethical reasons and health reasons. For me, I became a vegan because of health reasons, you know? Once I realized that eating eggs is as unhealthy as smoking cigarettes or meat is a type one carcinogen equally dangerous as smoking cigarettes, you know? So for me, as a health advocate, as a health professional, I cannot really recommend eating meat to any of my clients. That would be really unethical in a way. So, um, if I cannot recommend it to my clients, so why would I eat it myself? So that's where I kind of like drew the line and stop. And now once you become vegan, then you kind of realize also the other reasons here. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, the animals are also not really having a fun time being killed or being, you know, raised poorly or whatever. So those also kind of start to factor in. Yeah, of course, also the ethical reasons also as well, like the animal abuse and the killing of other beings that is totally unnecessary. So that's why I became a vegan. I realized that every time when I talk about veganism to my friends, like there are two kind of reactions. One from the guys who are kind of indifferent or hostile against it, and I don't really understand why. And from the ladies who are kind of open to it, but at the same time kind of associated with weight loss or something. Um, 
But from the guy's side, because mo, me, I'm a guy, and according to my YouTube stats, at least 60% of you who are watching are males. I don't get it. Why are we so against this veganism? Even talk about it. Even the idea of veganism, I found that it kind of makes people feel uncomfortable. Maybe if someone had had this talk with me before I went vegan, I would have reacted the same. I don't know. I guess we'll never know now. But guys, tell me, why are we so against veganism? But I'm very hopeful that in this new world that we're living in, that these changes that we're having, uh, everything is going to change and veganism is going to be like the, the standard and people have to choose meat or whatever in order to eat meat and it should not be like the standard diet. All right, that was it for today. Sorry about me rambling all along, no structure whatsoever, but I just wanted to get this video out and uh, work out. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up right here and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.